Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habatu fillah assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh hayyakum allah jami'an I was asked uh, for some advice a married couple with children made hijra been outside of their country for numerous years perhaps 10 years now a relative is sick a very close relative and it requires to go back and tend and care for that relative. Uh, what do I advise? First and foremost, I advise you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fear Allah as much as you can. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fear Allah as much as you can. Ya ayu ladina amanu wa taqu allaha haqqu taqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, addressing Ahli Iman, the believers, fear Allah is uh, much, uh, fear Allah, the full fear. Full taqwa. And do not die except in a state of Iman, you know, in a step as a, as a Muslim. <clears throat> and secondly, I advise you, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al kareem, fasal ahli dhikran kuntum la ta'alamun. Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. So since you've made it clear that you're in a Muslim land now, I, from my knowledge, I cannot think of a Muslim land that doesn't have scholars. Okay? So I would advise you to take your situation and ask the scholars of Ahl Sunnah in the place that you are. If you're in Saudi Arabia, there's no reason you should be you know, it should be, you can go to every corner almost. If you're in Yemen, you can go to many, many places. If you're in Egypt, I'm sure there are many places and people to go to. Uh, on and on and on. Indonesia, it doesn't matter. The Muslim lands have scholars all around the world. So that's the, the second piece of advice is I would advise you to ask a scholar about this hukum because this is a very detailed issue. I don't have my books, unfortunately, to be able to kind of go into research or the time to go in and look at some of the aqwal ahl al-ilm. But what I know and understand is that it is not permissible for the muhajir to return back to the uh, you know, the non-Muslim lands. However, how does that fit with a dhurura, with a necessity? And does this relative's Passing or being sick and needing care necessitated a dhurura. I would think so. But again, ask the people of knowledge. So those are that's uh, another piece of advice I want to uh, advise you with. Also, in this uh, regard, it was mentioned about the fear that you have for your children. Fear for them, uh, which you should rightly fear as so many people that I've known, but also who have made hijra, who lost their children in Muslim lands. So again, as the Prophet Wasallam mentioned, the muhajir is the one, you know, the, the, the best of the muhajirin are those who make hijra from their sins. Hijra from ma'asi. I can think many examples of sad scenarios, especially with girls, girls and boys. People going to Yemen, going to Saudi Arabia, Losing their girls, the girls losing their virginity to boyfriends. Wallah uh, misan. And, and all the other foulness that, that can take place anywhere. Because again, it's the tarbiyah, it's going to be the heart. The Prophet ﷺ said, The Prophet ﷺ said, In the heart is a morsel of flesh. And verily, if it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. If it is sick, the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart. So I would also advise in this regard, because that is something heavy to think about. And there's no doubt the Muslim lands in general have so much more offered because of the Islamic environment and because of the prohibitions, wilillahi alhamd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the boundaries that they do observe. So that's a ni'mah min ni'amillah. So you have, you have more chances of success in those environments. So that is a legitimate concern. What I would 
perhaps recommend is that you can also look at if you're serious about your hijra, and that's going to be between you and your your family determining this, that you could go back for a time to care for that relative with the intention to leave again so that you're not, you're going strictly for that reason out of a hajja, out of a necessity, and then you go back out and uh, to reside in the, the, the Muslim lands or the Muslim land that you've made residence in. So those are things to carefully consider and to reflect upon and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.